Shalom Aleichem and Beruchim Abayim. Moshe Lanyaru here speaking under the auspices of Kolel Baruch Ahavat Yisrael in Southern California and Shari Tzion in Brooklyn, New York. This week is Parshat Mitzavin Ben Bayelech. But also it is the week prior to or the Shabbat prior to Rosh Hashanah, the new year. Yes, we know how our Gentile and secular neighbors celebrate the new year. They have that ball coming from Shemaim at 12 midnight and the dancing and the drunkenness fills the streets of New York. But that's not how we celebrate. We are not hedonists. We are spiritualists. We celebrate in the synagogue. We celebrate in our homes. We also celebrate with a great amount, amount of joy, but a different type of joy, a joy of coming closer to Bori Olam. Rosh Hashanah is our birthday. And how do we celebrate a birthday? From our youth till our old age, we enjoy our birthday. We celebrate with happiness and good cheers. Rosh Hashanah is the birthday of all mankind. For we celebrate the creation of man on Rosh Hashanah. Not the creation of the universe, that was done before. But on the first Rosh Hashanah, it was a Friday. And that's when Adam and Chava were created. So the celebration is great. And we could say, happy birthday to all of mankind. But let us try to understand the joy and the happiness we have. Part of it is even in the ceremony of blowing the shofar. Yes, when we blow the shofar, we blow a tekiah, a shvarim, and a teruah. The tekiah is a strong blast, complete. Then we blow sometimes a shivarim, a broken blast. Then a teruah. Then a sobbing blast. And then at the end, another tekiah. Another strong, maybe even stronger than the first. God gave us a nishama. That is represented by the first blast of the shofar. A complete nishama. Then we broke it. Shvarim. We broke it into many pieces by the vicissitudes of this life, of this world. But we sob, we cry, God Almighty, please accept us. We want to return to you. We want to repent. And then God gives us forgiveness. And then we become whole again. And we are joyful. And that wholeness might even be greater than the original. Because the makom shebal shuva omed, afilu tzaddik amor lo omed. My friends, if I could relate to you a story from Rev. Yehuda Pataya, one of the great Kabbalists of the city of Baghdad, the last generation, it was Rosh Hashanah. He had come back from Shul, and he was joyous. He was so happy. He had guests surrounding him at his table, and they had the large candelabra on the table, and they had just finished Kiddush. When one person reached over and knocked the candelabra down and darkness and wine spilled on everybody. And Rabbi Huda said, be joyous, don't worry. His wife came in carrying the platter of fish and there was no light. And she slipped on the wine and the fish went all over. And Rabbi Yehuda Pataya got up and helped her. And then he got dirty with fish also. And he did not wipe the smile off his face. He was still jovial and happy. And he told those there, don't worry, be happy, for today is Yom Tov. 
today is Rosh Hashanah. And some said, this is a bad omen. The Siman is bad. This is going to be a bad year. And Yehuda answered, what is the true Siman? If you stay happy and stay positive. And such did Yehuda Bataya and those at his table. And at the end of that year, the Yehuda told his friends, that was the best year that he ever had. He wrote Chidushe Torah. He was able to help people. He was healthy and strong. My friends, we're going to eat Simanim, be it the apple dipped in honey, be it and the date, and the black eyed peas and the leeks and the pomegranates. But what is the greatest Siman? Let us be happy and joyful. For that will bring brachatas. That will make God also smile. And Bezrat Hashem, our prayers will break through all the barriers and we'll have a year of peace in Israel and in our homes and in our hearts. Shabbat Shalom and may everyone have a great new year. Shana Tova Umetuka.